to share some of my favorite makeup tricks that will help enhance your makeup to make it look like you just got it done by a professional. I'm a professional makeup artist. I use these tricks on myself and my clients as well. These tricks have been around for years and decades, so I did not come up with any of these. And if you find these tricks don't work for you or you found something different, that's okay. This one is for my oily skin people. Take an oil blotting sheet and pat away any of that excess oil. Then set those areas with a very light veil of translucent powder. Removing the excess oil that we don't need and then powdering those areas will help create a barrier so your oils don't come through. Before you do your brows, take a cotton pad in micellar water and wipe away any of that skincare. You can see the difference. This will help the product glide on a lot faster because there's no product blocking the area that you're trying to apply and it's going to last longer. When it comes to prepping for eyeshadow, don't use concealer, especially if you have oily eyelids. All concealers have some sort of hydration in them. So if you use that underneath eyeshadow, typically it's more likely to crease. When applying your transition color, apply it above the natural eyelid crease and push it into the socket and into the front of the brow. This is gonna create a soft and natural looking dimension to the eyes. On a big fluffy brush, take the bronzer you plan to use later and apply it along the transition shade. This is gonna help create a cohesive look between the eye makeup and the face makeup. To make the band of your lash even more undetectable, take some black eyeshadow and apply it on the band of the lash. Black eyeshadow on the band, no eyeshadow on the band. Can you tell the difference? If you're wanting a more full coverage result with your under eye concealer, let it sit for a few minutes and then blend it out. When using bronzer, opt for a smaller brush versus a big fluffy brush. Using a smaller brush will help control where you're putting the bronzer versus using a big fluffy brush and it just being blown out and going everywhere. And if you're wanting a super natural look with your bronzer, use the same brush you used for your foundation to apply it. Never be afraid to use your fingers. It is your best tool. If you want to look like you just came back from the beach, put some cream blush where you put your bronzer. This will help give you a more sun-kissed look. Whether you're using a brush, a sponge, or a velour puff, Take your applicator with the powder, start at your nostril and go all the way up. And make sure you're looking up so you can get into any creases. If you self tan, take your bronzer and apply it on the ear. Ears do not hold self tan very well. Before bronzer, after bronzer. Apply your powder highlight before your powder bronzer and blush. This will take away the effect of it sitting on the skin and make it look like it's coming from within. After applying your bottom lash mascara, take a clean spoolie and run it through your lashes. This further helps to separate the lashes and to evenly coat them with the mascara. If you want your eyes to appear bigger and more awake, take a flesh tone liner and put it in your waterline. Eyeliner, no eyeliner. To make your lip line look a little bit more crisp, take your leftover foundation on a flat concealer brush and outline your lip line. And when you're using setting spray, don't just use it at the very end. Layering it throughout your application will ensure that your makeup has more longevity. 